This morning I am going to talk about uh, uh, ecosystem services from planted forest. Uh, this was uh, uh, recently published uh, in a special issue of uh, integrated evaluation of ecosystem services in, in Journal of Ecosystem Services. Uh, so, uh, let me start here. As we can see, um, the globally, uh, the uh, Global Forest Resource Assessment 2015 uh, indicates the area of uh, uh, forest is declining uh, globally. Uh, and uh, the area of planted forest is uh, increasing rapidly. Um, uh, from uh, 1990 uh, to 2015, it's uh, about more than 110 million of planted forest is increased. Uh, as you can see, the, the greener the area are more uh, increase of uh, planted forest, where is the highest gain, and and this red area indicates where the la largest uh, loss of uh, natural. Uh, forest. And this trend is likely to be continue uh, over the next uh, uh, few decades. Uh, as, uh, as we know that human population is increasing and demand for almost all products, forest products and services are, are increasing. Uh, and also a standard of living is increasing and people are demanding more natural products uh, such as uh, uh, forest based products. Uh, so that's, uh, that's uh, another uh, uh, demand for push for forest resources and role of planted forest is uh, also increasing to support the uh, global uh, restoration targets such as bond challenge uh, new york uh, declaration on forest uh, as well as uh, uh, article 5 of uh, uh, the recent uh, paris climate agreements so there, there is an increasing role of planted forest globally however as Robert mentioned uh, in the introduction, this planted forest is, uh, is controversial in many parts of the world because of its perceived uh, impact to the, to the uh, society and environment, which uh, we will talk a little bit uh, later, but it all depends uh, on where uh, the planted forest is established, for what purposes. So therefore, it's important to uh, identify the full function and services of this important uh, or increasingly important land use, uh, what are the products and services it provides, how to quantify and how to value those services. Um, and I'm, this morning I'm going to highlight three key points. Uh, uh, the, the concept of natural, semi-natural and planted forest and associated ecosystem uh, goods and services those uh, landscapes provide. And, uh, and uh, public and private uh, aspects of services. Uh, if the plantations are uh, established by a certain landowner or manager, how the, those services are related to public, how public get benefit from those services. And finally, I will talk briefly about the policy option to increase the ecosystem services from planted forest. So here uh, we, uh, we demonstrate the scope and concept of uh, natural forest and planted forest, semi-natural and planted forest and, and associated uh, ecosystem services. Uh, here, uh, as you can see that uh, this link of arrow uh, goes uh, everywhere. Uh, we use uh, TIB, uh, TIB uh, definition and classification of ecosystem services, which uh, uh, which uh, defines uh, contribution of uh, ecosystem, uh, direct and indirect contribution of uh, ecosystem to human well-being. Uh, uh, here uh, you can see provisioning, regulating habitat and cultural services provided from, from natural, semi-natural and planted forest uh, are, uh, are interlinked. The, the thickness of arrow indicates the magnitude of services, uh, so thicker the arrow, the higher the level of services, but this is a qualitative uh, uh, illustration to, to indicate. Uh, so, so basically natural forest provides more regulating uh, habitat and cultural services, uh, but, but a relatively less number of provisioning services, while planted forest uh, uh, produce uh, more uh, provisioning services than less uh, regulating services. But again, this planted forest can be various types uh, depending on uh, on, on, the, on the purpose of establishment, uh, rotation length, uh, for example, shorter rotation plantations are relatively less, uh, provides less uh, number of services, uh, while longer rotation uh, may produce a higher number of services. Then it can be, depending on intensity of management, it can be highly intensive managed, managed planted forest or, or extensively managed planted forest. It can be 
uh, native uh, um, tree um, planted forest with native trees and it can be exotic trees. So this all type of planted forest have different uh, capacity to produce uh, uh, ecosystem services. Uh, here uh, we, uh, we show the, uh, the actually the ecosystem services can be uh, spatially like uh, different spatial scale. Some of the ecosystem services are realized uh, by the communities or people who live uh, within or around the plantations and other services are beneficial for, for regional and, and uh, some other services such as climate regulation can be benefited globally. So wherever the plantation is established in Indonesia, but the benefit can be in the global communities. And uh, the other important aspects of uh, ecosystem services is uh, uh, public versus private goods. Uh, some of the um, uh, goods and services produced by plantation owner or land manager can exclude others to, to benefit or enjoy those services. For example, wood, uh, the, 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 the manager only get the benefits from those, those products, uh, while other services uh, are, uh, are purely public goods. For example, carbon sequestration or regulation uh, can be can be purely public goods. For example, if the land manager established plantation in, in, in mountain or hills, uh, so the soil erosion, prote soil protection or erosion protection can be benefited the people who living in downstream without any, any, any payments or uh, type of things. So similarly, when we, we compare to the ecosystem services from different land use uh, in, in relation to plantations, this is what we found. Uh, so basically, native forest, so, um, so native forest and grasslands produce a higher number of uh, regulating and uh, habitat services uh, than plantation. But if uh, plantation doing much better than managed pasture and agricultural uh, landscape. So, uh, so basically, plantation are are better compared to other some other uh, other land land uses. So here we uh, we propose a, a framework how to quantify and and uh, and value the, those ecosystem services from planted forest. So basically, uh, here uh, what what's the silviculture and management aspects of plantation development is very very important. So. Uh, what what kind of species the land uh, is 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 a plantation and what is the stand structure how ro what is the rotation length spacing and also position in the catchment uh, or or percentage of plantation uh, within the landscape so for example a small percentage within a landscape or or blanket approach a whole landscape is planted so that 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 all makes difference to <coughs> those uh, goods and services based on those those uh, uh, we are suggesting that uh, we looking those uh, aspects, uh, uh, the assessor or uh, the s someone who want to quantify or value the services can look uh, these, these services, count those services using uh, qualitative uh, and quantitative uh, techniques which uh, we have described in, in the paper because of the time I can't go into detail. So that can be expert opinion, uh, professional judgment, ranking, or even focus group discussion. We can talk to people what uh, services they realize from these plantation developments, uh, or even uh, these services, what, uh, what they are losing, what services they used to get in past, but they are not getting now anymore. Or, uh, or we can do some biophysical quantification, which uh, means we, we, we have to go and measure the services, uh, like uh, inventory or, uh, or other uh, measure quantitative techniques. So, so this all depends on uh, on the on the da uh, time, data, and cost. Uh, how much uh, how much time you have, and, and data rec data you need, and, and, and resources you have, uh, and then and then this can be progressively, and this can be also goes to valuation uh, tools. So there are some policy options which can uh, which can enhance the ecosystem services from from planted forest, even. Uh, uh, that is uh, managed for short rotation uh, or uh, um, uh, or for productive uh, productive timber plantation. They can still uh, produce uh, more services. So identifying and recognizing private and and public services is uh, key uh, to to quantifying and valuing uh, to to enhancing ecosystem services. So social value is uh, is also important. How people perceive the value of. Uh, uh, those plantations and uh, and the service goods and service they derive from plantation and in some cases monetary valuation is uh, is increasingly important for example in new zealand the plantations uh, the the recreational value of plantation is monetized how much uh, 
uh, the the um, public want to pay uh, to be to visit the plantations uh, so they, they have monetized those uh, those services in other case payments uh, are increasingly important for example in australia there is a carbon farming uh, mechanism so uh, when uh, when the landowner established plantation then, and that can be uh, claimed for, um, uh, for, for credit and some of the regulatory mechanisms such as uh, like high carbon stock or high conservation values within the plantation landscape uh, need to be protected so that that also helps to enhance the uh, ecosystem services and in other case like uh, planted forest are like a bit, a bit challenging for hydrological functions uh, so in that case uh, limiting planted forest for uh, for, uh, for say less than 20 percent uh, uh, of the landscapes can help to enhance uh, um, or increase uh, water services to down downstream uh, communities so biodiversity can be enhanced with integrating um, remnant vegetation or old growth forest trees or patches within the landscape so this framework uh, we hope that this provides uh, important uh, guideline for land uh, land manager or plantation owner uh, uh, to assess how how to to understand the value of planted forest and how to quantify and uh, and value those uh, those services uh, under different uh, uh, plantation uh, landscapes. So this is a uh, scale uh, free. So it can be use, useful for any scales or any locations. Uh, and we hope uh, that this framework will be tested in various parts of of the world uh, in in the near future. We have actually tested this, started uh, testing this in. Uh, in Vietnam, China, uh, Laos, and um, and also in Ethiopia, and yeah, thank you. So any, and this is available. The paper is available from C4 Library, and we have a recent uh, blog here, so you can view that.